know, you know how God works? You, you, can I tell you how God works? The people that you're not expecting to be used by God, they are the ones that will be used by God. And, and the ones that you are thinking that God will use them, eh, 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 eh. that's not how God works. I'm telling you. The people that you expect, mama, and say, ah, this one, he has grown before the eyes of God. Hey, hey. <laughs> we shall see. We'll be here. We shall see if God will use you. We shall see. The ones that you don't expect. Huh? The ones that you don't even think. I'm telling you something that will happen 10 years to come. You know, let me tell you, 10 years to come, the people you never thought, they are the ones that will be on top. Listen, the people you never thought, 10 years to come, they are the ones that will be saying, I see your name is Johannes. I'm, see, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. That's what they will be saying, I'm seeing and I'm seeing. I can tell you what has happened. Let me tell you. When the prophet Samuel went to the house of Jesse, everyone was there. The, elders, the elder sons of Jesse, they were there. With good structures. Tall. Handsome and everything. Huh? When the prophet reached there, he told Jesse, said, bring your children. The children were coming one by one. Holy Spirit and I said, eh, not this one. Eh, eh, not this one. Eh, eh, not this one. Until there was a boy that was in the wilderness. A boy that even the prophet was not thinking. <laughs> A prophet was not even thinking about him. When they were coming like this one by one, it's like I'm seeing them. The calling of God is not obvious. It will pass you. Even when they've called you that God will use you, God will say, eh, eh. Even us, if we say to you, God will use you, it's still a decision of God. Amen. God will still jump you. What a log. Tell your neighbor and say, humble yourself. Humble yourself. Say, say, humble yourself. Humble yourself. Now, the Bible says when the boy, the prophet said to, uh, to, to Jess and say, ah, are your children finished here? That man said, no. There's another one. <laughs> you know? <laughs> There's another one. He's not here. They even forgot about him. He's not here. He's looking after the ships. The prophet said, go and call him. I'm sure now I'm left with five minutes. I'm going to prophesy many of you here. Amen. The prophet said, do what? Go and call him. It's like, I just want to start. Start, 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 Prophet The prophet looked at him and the spirit of God says, Stand up. There comes a key. The Bible said, God said to someone, someone, hey, someone, stand up. That is the man that I've chosen. Anoint him. Amen. 
what I'm telling you, one day you'll see this a prophecy. Amen. Amen. God will raise the less rejected people. Amen. I'm telling you. I was telling people, you know, I think one day my uncle was telling uh, daddy, my father, he said, ah, do you know that this boy, he, he meant me. He was preaching the word of God when he was still in secondary. Daddy didn't even know that. Even you, he didn't know that. Many of you think this, I started it here. No, the anointing and the knowledge, I got it here. But preaching, I've done it when I was in grade eight. You're surprised? Huh? You're surprised? Huh? <laughs> You're surprised, brother? I started preaching when I was very young, very small. Ask the people who grew up with me, they will tell you. And God saw now for me to be channeled in a nice way. I must come with charis. Ask them, they'll tell you. I do have pictures where there's Bible and I was preaching at a very young age. I've never showed them to anyone. Many of you, did you know that? Ah, no. It's a, it's a surprise? Huh? Yes. It's a surprise? Huh? Yes. It was even here, I never said it before. When I was still in school, grade eight. Grade eight, grade nine, I was going to tents. I said, hey, Jesus is coming back. Come to Jesus. Grade eight and grade nine.